to change the stirrup lengths on these saddles because they have not ridden on them before. So we've got the eight players out there and England this time will be attacking the NBC Channel 10 scoreboard. And the people sitting up there would like to see some action so if you guys could go that way it would be much appreciated. Ted Torrey patiently waiting for them to line up in front of him. It's like an actual fruit, I have no idea what it is. <laughs> Something with sugar. Yeah. Although it's a zero, whatever that means. This is exactly what we shouldn't be doing, Nicholas Cahoon Denvers. Get the fuck on with it. Well, the, the checkers go quickly, but then we have this. Then we have this. I hate this. Time. I hate this because all the crowd goes down again. Yeah. They think it's going to start. All right, it looks like Nicholas is ready. Ted Torrey is ready. Team USA, and in goes the ball. The clock starts for the second chucker, and very quickly it comes out in favor of USA, but Omar gets control of it. Omar, the number three from England, trying to move forward, still going with the ball. Now he's going, putting his foot down a bit, sends it up the middle of the ground. Peter Freeman gets a little backhander. Can anyone pick this up? They can indeed. Simon Chamberlain going forward. Now we've got Stephen O'Kane moving forward. Peter Freeman clears it off the back line for Team USA. Peter now trying to cut the ball upfield, doesn't manage it. Simon Kane goes for a little backhander, doesn't manage it. Nick Coon Denvers, and who's got it at the moment? No, oh, Michelle. Michelle Nasir going forward for Team USA. A lovely near side shot forward, but uh, Stephen O'Kane takes him right out of it. Omar Mangali gets a great backhand. Nicholas Cahoon meets it. Now he's got to turn it around. Nicholas gets the shot across the field. Going towards the French flag and the Egypt flag, and Nicholas turns it upfield now. Michelle going to get to it first. The number one for USA. What a great nearside backhander from him. Trying to pick it up, though, is Simon Chamberlain. Did he manage it? Yes, he did. Is he put it in front of Omar? Omar and Sam Clements fighting for it. Here comes Simon Chamberlain again. Chamberlain over the halfway line for England, bouncing it on the boards, tries the nearside shot, moves it forward a little bit, not much. Omar coming in behind him. Michelle Nasir onto the ball now. Michelle now trying to turn it upfield. And there's a big bang from one of the English players. Here comes Omar under the neck. Passes the ball to Nicholas Cahoon Denvers. Omar trying to get to it. Can't manage it. Here is Simon Chamberlain going upfield. Chip Stiegler trying to get in his way. Oh, and then we've got a shot from Stephen O'Kane. O'Kane going to forwards. His pony even helps him out. Now we have Simon Chamberlain going for the backhand. But Peter Freeman sneaks into there. And I think he might have slightly infringed. The umpires blow their whistle and we'll see. I can't call every foul up here because it's difficult to see them. So we'll have to wait to see what the umpires decide. The reason why we have the umpires mounted is they can follow the line of the ball. So the umpires follow the play as best they can to be behind the line so they can see if anybody infringes it. But sometimes, because we have two umpires, they might disagree on a call and they'll ask a third man what he thinks. And the third man up here couldn't see. He wasn't on the line. So he has to call a no foul. That means the teams will line up in front of umpire Dan Keating. There was a no foul, so they'll line up where the ball was. And Keating will start the chucker off. You'll notice the clock stops when the whistle is blown, so no time is wasted. England on the attack at the moment. Chip Stiegel has got the ball, though. Has Chip Stiegel got the ball? He pushes it forward a little bit, but not very far. And England trying to pick it up. Stephen O'Kane trying to get it. Michelle Nasir trying to back it out of the trouble. 
Nicholas Cahoon Denvers has a swing in it. Now we have Omar. Omar turns it. He's trying to get to the ball. Come on, this is a horse game. You're supposed to be... This is the fastest ball sport there is. I know, it's not going very quick at the moment. It does sort of get to the Cowboys and Indians where they start circling the ball rather than hitting it. Who's got it? Ah, here we come with Sam Clements bringing it out the pack. Sam now going at a bit of speed. Sam trying to get past Omar. He does. Sam on the attack. And Sam again. He's just got to straighten it up. He's got the time. Sam cuts it to goal. He does. It's looking good. Oh, it's backed off the line. But they're waving a flag. Did it go over the line? The back from Chips gone wide. But did it go over the line before it was cleared by England? Omar going over there to say whether he did or he didn't. The goal judge waved down, so he's implying that it wasn't a goal. And it was not a goal. England saved it on the line, inches. A hair's breadth. And Nicholas Cahoon Denvers brings in the ball. And England survive another USA attack. And now Nicholas Cahoon Denvers, Chip Stiegler coming right in front of him, gets away with it. But Omar Mangali, oh, Omar, keep your eye on the ball. Oh, no, he was looking upfield instead of hitting the ball. Omar still gets away with it somehow. Omar going for the backhand. Gets a strong backhand. Nobody really turned for it. And Chip Stiegler there for USA. What is Chip going to do? He's going to try and turn it. He turns before he gets to the ball, gets away with that one. It's there. Who can get to it? Can it be Stephen O'Kane or Michelle? Stephen. S Stephen. Simon gets it now. Simon Chamberlain passes it to Stephen. Come on, get it up the boards. He gets another shot. Can he go again? Chip Stiegler goes to the back end. It's picked up again by Simon Chamberlain. Chip has another go. Simon Chamberlain passes it to the middle of the field. He gets hooked by Michelle. It's left there, though. Two USA players. Surely they can defend this. No, they leave it. Mangali. No, that was Cahoon Denvers. Somehow misses the goal. From within four yards, he misses an eight-yard goal. Nicholas. Oh, dearie me. All right, let off for the USA this time. Hit in by Peter Freeman for them. Bringing the ball in. Chip Stiegler coming in behind him. He's going to try and get it to Sam Clements. Doesn't quite reach him. He's in front of the tent at the moment. He's hooked brilliantly by Stephen O'Kane, but nobody's marking Chip at the moment. What a brilliant ride off by the number one, taking out... Chip, Chip's got time though, get out the way of each other, Sam Clements takes the ball from Chip, now Sam Clements looks at goal, sends a fairly solid shot up there but it runs into some players, he's bumped off it by Simon Chamberlain, Simon Chamberlain gets the backhand, Omar trying to turn but he's hooked out of it, nobody's got it, it's underneath Michelle Nasir, Michelle trying to get it, Michelle sends the ball forward, it's looking on the right line at the moment, Simon Chamberlain back for England, goes for the under the net, clears it slightly from the centre, Peter Freeman there for USA, rides over the top, it's still there, can Mangali get it for England, he's got a little tap, he needs more than that, Michelle hooks him, Nicholas Cahoon Denvers backing him up, gets past Chip, Nicholas Cahoon Denvers brings the ball, come on Nicholas, he's been backed up by Stephen O'Kane, Stephen goes for a shot, doesn't really connect either, Michelle, what a great backhand from them, number one, sending USA into the attack, can Chip get round Mangali, Chip can, Chip's looking good, Chip has scored, it's all even, two goals apiece, finally, I think on the balance of play, USA definitely deserve to level things up, they've been giving England a lot of pressure, this chucker, and a minute and a half left, where has this chucker gone already, great polo, Need to speed it up a bit, guys, but in general, we're having fun. It's close to all. In comes the ball from Ted Torrey. USA going up towards the NBC Channel 10 scoreboard. England, though, got the ball. Mangali sends them on the attack. We need someone attacking it. Looks like Simon Chamberlain coming at speed with Peter Freeman. Simon gets a touch on it. It's on the back line. Somehow under the neck. Oh, it's inches wide. A very good attempt by Stephen O'Kane underneath the pony. But it runs out of play, so of a hit in to the dark blues of US of A. Who's going to take this? Peter Freeman. 40 seconds to go. Here comes Peter. He's going to try and find Chip Stiegler. Sends the ball right up the middle. And here comes Chip. They get loses out on it. Who comes round on it? I can't quite see. It looks like Omar. Omar picking it up. Peter Freeman going with him. Omar, what a shot! Well, it would be what a shot if it was straight. Unfortunately, it runs out of play. And over the back line with 15 seconds to go. The number four to bring it in for the USA. He needs to do this quickly, though. He's going to run out of time. Here comes Freeman. Gets one shot away. Can he get to 
Sam Clemens, he's trying to get it up to Sam. Backhand and oh, there goes the second bell, ending the second chucker on the 60-yard line. And a good to-and-fro chucker it was. Thanks for your applause. It's much appreciated by the players. England is St. George, and he became...